This is the New Zealand Yen on the 15 minute and we have a triple bottom which has produced a 2618 trade and it has happened um, within the wicks on the higher time frame. So let's go and take a look at this opportunity. So we are down within these wicks and we are now seeing some buying pressure. You can see we've had three days now of bullish movement and we're coming into this falling level of structure. I'm not too sure how high price can come, whether or not we're going to violate this level. Typically we turn around the middle, um, but what we are doing is we had a move higher, a pullback, a move higher, and we actually then violated this, which was the outside return. And we did also then violate this. So we violated two levels of, stru two levels of um, structure here. Let's go into the 60. And in the 60, what I'm just going to do is highlight the wicks. And the wicks are, for me, when we see double tops and double bottoms. Now you can see that we've got a retest here, but uh, there's no RSI confirmation. Uh, there's no violation above the V point of the double top either. So there's nothing here on the 60. But as we go down to the 15, what we actually had here was we had a double bottom a triple bottom and then we came uh, sorry from here we then violated above the v point of this triple test and we pulled back for a 2618 or you can look at it as though this was the double bottom and this was the violation uh, either way uh, we're in trend here and we've had a uh, we've had three or four tests and we've had a violation to the upside. So a nice level of structure here to get involved. Uh, my stops have just gone an ATR below the low. Uh, you can look at getting involved as a minimum of that 61.8. You can see we've already hit it. And I'm looking at playing for a retest of the candle closes, uh, the highs. So if I just go back to the 240, uh, I'm not too sure how high price can go we may just continue on going a lot higher here i don't know but what i'm doing is is just playing for a couple of pips before that psychological number that 17200 and in terms of the risk to reward then we're looking at 18 423 so not a not a phenomenal reward to risk uh, but very high probability three or four tests down here 2618 we're in trend uh, and we are obviously going bullish here so we'll see what happens and we are back for the update uh, we've just gone on to win for 23 pips my god this was painful this was a very very painful trade guys um up and down 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 up down up down and it just didn't think it would last this long but eventually we have got up there 7197s just been taken out for 23 pips a lot of work for 23 pips